Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 23H2, which will also be the last optional C release update that Microsoft is rolling out for Windows 11 23H2. Because if we head to the calendar, 23H2's end of support will be reached on the 11th of November. So that would be the second Tuesday of next month, which will be the last update that, according to Microsoft, 23H2 will receive. And because Microsoft is finalizing the optional update, I would suggest we'll get 5067112 rolling out sometime next week. Now, because this is the last optional update, there's not too much going on. There's three bug fixes and what I would consider to be a add. And that's understandable because with such little time left of support, I don't think Microsoft is going to be giving 23H2 too much attention. Now, just to keep you guys posted, the first fix addresses an issue where the touch keyboard did not enter characters into text fields after the device wakes from sleep. Microsoft says although touch keyboard animations appear correctly, key presses do not register, for example, when entering a password on the sign in screen. So that's an input fix. And then the next fix is for networking with Microsoft saying it fixed an issue where external virtual switches lose their physical network interface card, NRC, bindings and convert to internal switches when the host restarts, resulting in network connectivity loss. This issue was caused, it's mentioned, by incorrect detection of orphaned virtual switch objects during host network service startup. And I think that's more going to be affecting um, enterprise environments. And then here's the add. The update enables the personalized office feature during device setup in the out-of-box OOB experience and in settings after the user reaches the desktop. So basically what that's all about is Microsoft is wanting to provide customized recommendations and promotions during initial setup. And I find that very strange that 23H2 is on its last legs and Microsoft is pushing that out into the operating system. But nonetheless, I would just consider that to be a nag ad, as I would say on the channel. And then the last fix, Microsoft says that this update addresses an issue that affects disk communication and causes connectivity errors during Azure Stack Hub or Azure Local Cluster upgrades. And once again, I think that fix is more for enterprise environments. So not too much gain on, guys. 23H2 is on its last legs and is soon running out of support, according to Microsoft. And that's more or less what's going to roll out. Very small update with KB5067112, which is the, which is the next and final optional update for 23H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.